Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your morning coffee. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm very, very, very excited to be doing some more morning coffee. This is really great. This is becoming really fun, a great part of the day. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, October 22nd, right? We are the 22nd, is that? Yes! Okay, cool. <laughs> Um, so this is just a general energy reading. This is not sign specific. This is not love, career, or whatever specific. This is just a reading for the energies of the day. Yeah? So let's get straight into it. Hmm. All right. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages for today, October 22nd, 2018. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, guys. So first of all, um, if I'm... If you notice that I'm speaking really low. It's because it is 6.30 in the morning here, and I do have roommates, and, um, you know, there are people around me in the building, in the neighborhood, so I'm trying not to make too much noise. Also, keep in mind that um, energy is fluid, so this may or may not resonate with you today. It may or may not be something that you experience today. It could be something you experience a few days later. You never really know. Energy is fluid. But just take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yeah? Okay. So let's get to it, guys. So in the pre-shuffle, um, the Ace of Wands did come out. So there's a bit of inspiration that could be happening. Um, a lot of you might be feeling really inspired uh, post- you know, the weekend, we do have a full moon coming on Wednesday, the 24th. So there could be some energies. Um, you could be resonating with that already. Um, you could be really getting inspired. You could be clearing the way for inspiration to come in. Um, and I'm seeing orange and I'm seeing yellow. So I'm, I'm seeing that there's going to be a lot of emotional balance or there could be a lot of emotional balance that you come into that can help you really move forward in a new passionate way um, and this really could be facilitated by this full moon that's coming up here because that full moon is really going to help us it's going to be a really powerful time for us to clear the path for us to really take the lead in our lives yes and move towards what it is we truly desire okay October 22nd 2018 I'm gonna give one more shuffle I'm going to cut the deck. Nope. Okay. All right. Now I'm just going to free shuffle. There we go. October 22nd, 2018. Okay. All right, guys. So we're starting with strength here. Let's go one more time. Aha. There we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> yep. Okay. Underneath the deck, hello, hello, we've got the King of Cups. A lot of emotional maturity is what I'm getting with this one here. Um, and look at that scorpion right there. The sun is moving into Scorpio this week. Yeah, so okay. And that, you know what, guys? Hey, that's, the, wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm saying wow because the sun is moving into Scorpio this week. We've got death. This is a very, this is, this is Scorpio right here, okay? This is Scorpio energy, okay? So, to all my uh, Scorpios, my, my October Scorpios out there, happy birthday coming up. I know one good friend of mine, her birthday is coming up. It's right around Halloween. I want to wish her a very happy birthday. Her name is Drea. Uh, I don't know, Drea, I don't know if you were watching this, Drea Lorraine, but um, she just recently post, put up a new song that I actually, I think, in honor of Scorpio season, <laughs> And in honor of her birthday coming up, I'm going to, um, I'll post the song in the comments because it's really a good song and it's all about Halloween. It's really fucking awesome. But anyway, um, Scorpio season is on its way. 
and that's in Western astrology, okay? In Eastern astrology, we're actually um, moving, we're actually in Libra season right now. We just entered Libra season around the 15th or the 16th of, um, of October. Um, but in Western astrology, we're moving into Scorpio season right now, okay? So there's definitely change and transformation. This is really great energy, guys. Really, really great energy. Um, lots of major arcana here in in terms of, you know, shifts that are coming through. We've got the magician. We've got strength. And we've got the knight of wands. And here with the knight of wands, especially with the ace of wands that came out um, in the pre-shuffle, this to me is your energy. This is not necessarily that someone... This could be someone coming in towards you, but I really feel like this is your energy here, okay? The viewer. Um, and I'm saying this because of the fact that, number one, the Ace of Wands came out in the pre-shuffle. Number two, um, we have this full moon here in, on Wednesday the 24th, and I really feel like we're all, we are all preparing for the new to come in with the Magician and Strength, okay? This is, this is really excellent energy. Um, there really isn't much for me to say <laughs> about it. So I'm going to get some clarifiers because it's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's just major transformation that's happening. This full moon is really going to help us uh, clear away the old so that we can manifest the new. Okay. And with strength here, I really feel like I, there's a lot of energy of approaching things in a very different way. Last week was very purgy, um, and it helped us to really master ourselves a little more, okay? Because that was a central theme of last week also. Not only just the purge and the clearing, but the self-mastery that comes of it. Also, Venus is in retrograde. And I know personally, I'm going to speak from experience here, I'm using, I've been using Venus in retrograde to help master myself a little more. And it's actually been really, really good. Um, I've come to understand um, a lot more about aligning with what it is I truly want instead of like rushing after it, um, aligning with that vibration, maintaining the highest thoughts, um, the highest feelings, the highest vibratory rate in association with it, and then just allowing it to come to me, okay? Um, that's really what Venus in Retrograde has been teaching me. Okay. So I'm going to get some clarifiers here. I'm going to clarify all three of these. Monday, October 22nd. Thank you so much, Spirit. But we're really on our way, guys. <laughs> With this Knight of Wands energy. And, it's, and to have the King of Cups underneath the deck... Um, really, to me, helps to temper the Knight of Wands energy. So it's not so frantic. Um, uh, it's not so frantic. Um, it's very passionate. It's very quick moving. Um, but it's emotionally stable with the King of Cups. And you can see here, it kind of looks like there's like a full moon behind her. So to me, this is saying that, you know, the full moon is really helping us move full speed ahead. Okay, and that's really fantastic. So let's clarify the magician here. What are we manifesting? We've got some already. Ooh, two of pentacles. All right, underneath, under, ooh, okay. So underneath the deck, we have the empress here, and this is clarifying the magician. All right, um, balance. Okay, there's a lot of energy of bringing our lives back into greater balance. And this is actually in service of further manifestations in the future. This is in service of this fertile energy, this fertile environment that we have here with the Empress. Okay, um, with the Magician here, especially with this full moon coming, we are really setting the stage to allow our abundance, our own personal abundance, um, everybody has is, has access to the abundance of the universe, okay? So we're really setting the stage for this 
abundance to continue to flow, this fertility to be ever present in our lives. This is not, we, we no longer really want to feel that lack. Oh, look at this, you guys. This is just beautiful. We've got the nine of pentacles and the four of wands on the magician. Hello, that couldn't be any more beautiful, okay? We are really manifesting not only abundance, which is also spoken of in the Nine of Pentacles, but we're focused, and this is exactly what I was saying, we're, 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 uh, we're manifesting the stability, the foundation to allow this Empress energy or this abundance to really continue to flow with the Four of Wands. We are also manifesting partnership. Any and any one of us, any those those of us that are really looking, I know. I mean, I know personally, I've been very family oriented. Um, I've been resonating with, um, you know, the whole family setting. You know that. <laughs> I'm and I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys. I had a moment last night. Um, <laughs> I had a moment yesterday. Yesterday evening, after I did the live, um, the Twin Flame mirror reading, um, you know, I left that and I went to go make dinner and all that. And um, I was just in this really nostalgic mode of um, remembering days when I was a kid and, you know, being at home with my family and, you know, my mom making dinner and sitting around watching TV and just being with the family. And I was getting really nostalgic because it's like, I want to recreate that situation. Um, I want to, you know, I want, I want to have a husband I want to have kids. I want to have a nice house and like a family and like pets and all that stuff. And, um, it was really nostalgic. And so this is what <laughs> me personally, this is what I'm manifesting. Okay. Um, and for, mo for a lot of us, we're really ready for it. We're all, we're very much in this nine of pentacles energy where, you know, the abundance is abound. We can have basically anything we want right now. And that's because we have for the most part, we've done the work, okay? That's what the Four of Wands is also saying. We have this foundation that is ready to go, says the universe. Um, so you just got to keep, so so we just got to keep everything in balance, keep things in check, you know? This is balancing out. I'm also kind of seeing this as a little bit of a Libra energy here with the Two of Pentacles. We're balancing out the scales, okay? We're making sure that we keep everything in alignment to continue to manifest what it is we truly desire okay let's let's clarify strength here strength and to me this is really just another um strength here in the center of the reading is really talking about self-mastery okay a lot of us did a lot of the work last week to really get a stronger hold on ourselves and our manifestations and what we truly want to manifest um, yeah, let's just, I just want to get a little bit of clarification with the knight, with the strength here. Okay. Okay, cool. So the two of one, oh my goodness. <laughs> so underneath the deck again is the empress. And it's so funny, you guys, because I almost took it out of the deck and left it with the magician. But I was like, you know what? Let me leave it in there. And in the back of my head, I heard myself say really quickly, maybe it'll come out again. Well, here she is again. Okay. This, and also, also the Empress does represent Venus. Venus is in retrograde. Venus in retrograde, even though it's kind of rough. I know it was really rough for me in the beginning, but Venus in retrograde is really, she's like really helping us identify what it is we truly desire in our lives. This is love. This is relationships. This is um, pleasure, all that kind of stuff. And here we have the two of wands, okay? Clarifying strength. So more more twos here, okay? So, but the two of wands here, instead of the two of pentacles, that being about balance, the two of wands here is making a choice, okay? Choosing um, um, in this transformation, Okay, this, uh, the, the death that's happening here. Okay, we are now, we're having the strength to really choose, to decide what it is we truly want. I want to get, I just want to pull one more, just clarify for the two of wands and strength here. There we go. Huh? <laughs> 
Okay, and there's another one. All right, cool. Okay, the Knight of Swords is underneath the deck here. Um, and this is a, not a, a lot of energy surrounding. Here we go. Okay, so the Knight of Swords. This is communication. Um, this can be a little bit of a rough energy, but it is also resonating with the Knight of Wands. That's out, okay? So with this, we've got... <laughs> The three of wands here, so either I feel like a lot of us have made a decision already, okay? And if you haven't made a decision, you're in the process of making one. Um, excuse me, guys, my, my my allergies, my nose is all... Please excuse me. Um, so I really feel like most of us have made this decision already, okay? Um... And actually, to be quite honest, that decision that we made is really facilitating this transformation that we're going through. Okay. I mean, it's also, you know, Scorpio season is starting. That's really what that means also. But at the same time, many of us have made this decision already and we've done the work and now we're holding steady and being strong. And a lot of this strength that is coming through here is the strength to believe that your manifestations are on their way. Okay, the universe is about to hand them to you on a silver platter here <laughs> with the Wheel of Fortune. Like everything is, things are really changing. There's a lot, a lot of change happening here. Um, there's also an energy, especially with this Knight of Swords here, uh, clarifying strength. Okay, so there's a bit of caution here, all right? Because there, I really see like th there could be some instances where the ego can really get flared up. Um, there could be some external situations where people may come at you with <laughs> some BS. Um, and that's mainly because of your vibration, okay? You're you're resonating at a higher vibratory rate right now, and that could threaten some people. Um, and there could be some, yeah, there could be some people that, like, say some things just to, like, get a rise out of you, but that's because they're threatened by you and your newfound vibration. Don't let that bother you, okay? Don't fight back either, all right? Maintain your integrity and just don't give in to any sort of that energy in that sense because it's really not even worth it, you guys. But there's also an energy of some sort of knight in shining armor situation, whether that's you or someone else. Someone could be rushing in, especially with the knight of wands here. But I just feel like most of us are really rushing forward, moving ahead in our lives, okay? All right, finally, I want to clarify this Knight of Wands here. Hold on for a second. Who's clarified a Knight of Wands? Okay, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. We have the Knight of Wands clarifying the Knight of Wands. We have the Lovers. Just one more card for clarification, please. Yeah. Good Lord, you guys. We've got strength. Underneath the deck, we have the Knight of Swords again. Again. Okay, so. Um, take these upright, they say. Okay, um, I do want to talk about cocaine. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> we have the Knight of Wands clarifying the Knight of Wands. All right, so there's really, I'm hearing roughshod. Um writing roughshod. And I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, I just feel like it's kind of a hasty, it's a hasty energy. Okay. It's really, it's in a sense, it's kind of putting the horse before I'm um, putting the carriage before the horse, but not really. Um, because for the most part, a lot of us have really prepared here. And then I'm <laughs> continuing the clarification. We've got the lovers and we've got strength. Okay. So we've got strength here twice. So when the lovers did come out reversed, um, and then I'm reading them upright, but I do want to, I do want to talk a little bit about, you know, how they fell out. The lovers came out in reverse. To me, that's talking about how a decision absolutely has been made. Okay. Um, a decision, a direction has been chosen and we're moving forward quite, quite strongly with strength here. Now strength did kind of fall out in reverse as well. Um, especially coupled with the Knight of Swords here, which is underneath the deck. I want to make sure people understand that you have to keep your ego in check, okay? Because strength can talk about ego. And because strength is here twice, 
Um, I had already mentioned that there could be some ego battles when we were talking about strength here for the first time, coupled with the Knight of Swords. Well, the Knight of Swords is here again, and strength is here again, and strength did come out in reverse a little bit. It was kind of like, kind of almost completely reversed, but not really. So what that's saying to me is maintain your check on your egos, okay? I understand a lot of us have leveled up in quite a big way. Um, and we're feeling very confident, we're really feeling very strong, and ain't nobody trying to take that away from you. But understand, ego battles are going to do nothing but tear you down, okay? Nothing. But there is a huge transformation happening here, guys, and, and we are really ready to move forward. Um, with the lovers here, this is more about the choice that has been made to honor oneself, to honor one's authenticity. And with the King of Cups at the bottom of this deck here, I mean, the emotional the emotional security, the emotional maturity is really riding high right now. Okay, I want to clarify transformation. Yes, do it. Okay, let's do that. So let's clarify a transformation here, please, spirit. Just a little bit of clarification on transformation. There we go. The Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Ah, oh, wow, you guys, this is this couldn't be any more beautiful. The Hermit <laughs> is underneath the deck, and we've got the Seven of Wands in reverse. There is there is this energy of just no longer needing to be defensive. No longer needing to be defensive here, okay? Why? Because we have a deeper understanding of ourselves now. If you don't have this understanding now, it's going to come through you, to you through this through Scorpio season. So as we move through Scorpio season for the last part of October into the the into mid November, actually not mid November, excuse me, I'm thinking Eastern from to the end towards the end of November. And keep in mind that Venus will be going direct around the 15th or 16th of November, okay? So once we come out, once, you know, once we come out of Venus in retrograde and also as we move through Scorpio season, there is going to be a lot, the, the, the energy is going to be ripe for transformation, for understanding yourself better, for understanding more of your, I just saw 22, 22 on the counter, understanding more of who you are, allowing more of your light to shine. This transformation, this death is really going to shed a lot of the skin, a lot of the barriers that has kept us, um, and not, not skin, scales, there we go, the scales, the, the, the scars, everything that has kind of, a lot of the things that have kept us from being true and authentic, I mean, you know, all this defensiveness, all of these, maybe even masks, okay? That's, that's beautiful, guys. This is, um, now, obviously, this isn't just a message for today, okay? This is an extended message. This is where, this is the universe talking to us, preparing us for what we have coming towards us in Scorpio season, which is starting this week. I mean, good Lord, you guys. <laughs> I love how this is working out right now. I really love it. Okay. All right. So next we're going to get into our Oracle guidance here. I'm going to go with the Crystal Mandala deck. And then I'm going to close the reading with some Oracle guidance from the Whispers of Love in honor of Venus retrograde season. Is to, can we call a retrograde a season? <laughs> I don't know. Eh, who cares? All right, guys. So, best message for today, October 22nd, 2018. What do you have for us, Spirit? Ooh. The bottom one. Okay. Ah, this is actually an excellent message for today. And I'm going to take this one too underneath the deck. Um, let me just leave it. I'll leave it here. But I do want to read. Oh no, no, let's do it this way. Okay. Because we're really in the process of moving forward. Okay, so we have card number 43, Goddess Matanji and Heliotrope. 
already there is value. And also, we have got the card number 35, Ascended Master B Babaji and Diamond. So it shall be. I mean, that right there, this card, So It Shall Be, is already, that feels so perfect. I'm going to start with Already There is Value. And I feel like, didn't that come out last week? Yes, it did. Oh, also, I'm being guided to 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 ask any of you that wants to help, uh, wants to, because I heard writing a rough shot. I hear that a lot when I see the Knight of Wands. If anybody wants to like put their understanding of that down in the comments, I would be greatly appreciative. I mean, of course, I'm gonna look it up myself. But anyone that wants to interpret that, please go right ahead. So first, we have got uh, card number forty-three, Goddess Matanji and Heliotrope. Heliotrope, excuse me. Already there is value. We bring you the empowerment to see that already there is value. It is natural for creative energy to become excited by new possibilities, new ideas, and new forms. It is also possible, however, for creative energy to become engaged in liberating the undiscovered value within that which already uh, the undiscovered undiscovered value within that all which that which oh goodness excuse me <laughs> let me try that again. It is also possible, however, for creative energy to become engaged in liberating the undiscovered value within that which already exists, polishing it until it until it associated, I'm sorry, until it shines with divine light. Sometimes there is a need to shed the past and all associated with it completely, starting afresh. However, at other times, there is something of value from the past that can if allowed to bask in the light of your creativity, become very valuable for your future. In your enthusiasm to move forward in life, don't forget to take the value that already exists in your world along with you. Hello, we are going through a transformation, guys. This is, that's an excellent message. Okay, I want to get right to the next one because <laughs> the garbage trucks are coming, so it's probably going to get pretty loud in a second, but... Next, we have card number 35. Here we go. Ascended Master Babaji, Babaji and Diamond. So it shall be. Please excuse the garbage trucks that are about to move through, guys. But yes, it is very early in the morning here. We bring you the blessing of So It Shall Be. There are times when you will go through your life journey without any sign of what is going to happen. You may be working hard to heal an issue or build your dream and not really know if you are ever going to be successful. You may hope for the best, but not know whether you should really expect the worst. You may sense that the universe is asking you to trust in how things are going to turn out, and yet giving up your uncertainty is difficult. That usually means total and uncompromising commitment is difficult too. Where there is uncertainty, there's often hesitation and procrastination. Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on your dreams because you lack faith and therefore are holding yourself back from going for it with all you have within the Knight of Wands. So you are being given the blessing of divine decree, of absolute confirmation of success with the divine granting of a wish fulfilled. Switch your thinking from possibility to inevitability and commit yourself completely. Don't hold back. Go for it with gusto. According to divine will, you shall manifest the highest expression of your divine destiny this lifetime. So it shall be. Well, my, my, my. Look at y'all being all master manifestors and shit. <laughs> oh, man. So we are not done yet. <laughs> okay. Let's get into it. Whispers of love. Here we go. Closing message now. Closing message for the whispers, from the whispers of love. Okay. Closing message from the whispers of love. What do you have for us? October 22nd, 2018. October 22nd, 2018. What do you have for us, Spirit? What do you have for us? 
There we go. Aww. Underneath. Yes, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. All right, guys. So, closing message here. True love. This love is a once-in-a-lifetime love. Now, to me, this is very much a depiction of the lovers here. And with this, I'm seeing a lot of us are definitely pulling in true love. But we're pulling in this true love because of the union with of masculine and feminine within. Okay, that's what I'm also seeing. That's what I'm seeing the most, actually, with this true love card. This is, I'm seeing union between masculine and feminine within. Okay. But that is also pulling forward some true love for you. And then we have card number 43, love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. And this absolutely resonates with this card, so it shall be. Go for it with gusto. Do not lose faith. Just because something may not have worked out in your favor in the past, um, it doesn't mean that you, you're not worthy of finding love, okay? And we have true love here. So I really feel like true love is on the horizon for many, many, many of us, especially those of us that have been really working towards it, that have been really working on manifesting it. I mean, you do have the King of Cups here. For some of us, that could be you standing in your emotional well-being, um, knowing that you're worthy and truly deserving of love. And so you're, you're, you are the King of Cups here. Um, or there could be some of you that are attracting a king of cups, okay? But either way, do not lose faith, do not lose hope. Um, everything is happening within divine timing, and that's what you have here. Where is it? The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. Ha divine timing, okay? You made your choice, you made your decision here with the Two of Wands, and so now divine timing is bringing everything that you want to you with the three of wands, okay? You are in the process of allowing your ships to come in and maintaining your strength. Underneath all of that is strength. Staying strong, staying firm, staying connected to who you know you are and what you know you're deserving of and worthy of, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Sneeze on the truth. There we go. There's a confirmation of that. And strength did come out twice, guys. Um, so, you know, we're really holding firm, holding steady in what we know we truly want. I mean, you've got... There are unions happening. Unions are coming in. Okay, you've got the lovers. You've got the four of wands. You've got the nine of pentacles saying that you're ready. And, you know, the nine of pentacles is clarifying the magician here. You're ready for it. You're standing strong in your power, in your independence, in your autonomy. And you're ready for that counterpart to come in. Okay, this is beautiful, guys. This is such a beautiful reading. Okay, so there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, now, the, now the reading is over. <laughs> uh, much love, much, much love. I hope you guys have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you all again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, take care. Much love. Mwah. Bye.